Hey everyone, welcome to Hagman Grilling. Now today we're gonna start prepping here, and then later we're gonna move out to the Blackstone for some steak elote tacos. So let's get started on the marinade process now. All right, so once again, I'm gonna be using these sirloin, uh, sirloin tender steaks. Now this time I'm not gonna hammer them out. I'm not gonna cut them up just yet. I'm gonna go ahead and put them into a Ziploc bag. Next thing, I've got two limes here and I've cut them in half. And so we're gonna squeeze all the juice out of each half down into our, our Ziploc bag here. Next, I'm gonna add one cup of Dr. Pepper. Next, we're gonna add one and a half tablespoons of kosher salt. Next, we're gonna add one and a half tablespoons of just regular black pepper. Now, after I added the salt, and then here when I added the pepper, I just kind of, kind of mix everything around so that way you didn't just have all your salt sitting right there on top. We're gonna add one tablespoon of garlic powder. Now we're gonna add two tablespoons of hot sauce. You can go with any brand of hot sauce you want. Me personally, I'm a big fan of this Tapatio. So now we're gonna do that with that, just like we've done everything else. We're just gonna kind of mix everything else in together. And now what I wanna do I'm gonna kind of pinch the air out of this best I can. Close the bag up. And we wanna make sure that we've got our steak is sitting in this marinade. All right, folks, so welcome back. So we're gonna pick up where we left off on marinating those steaks. But what we're gonna do first is we're gonna to start to build everything we need for the elote. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this pretty deep bowl. Now I've got three cans of corn here. I've got two cans of the white corn and one can of the yellow. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drain these cans of corn. Once you drain your corn, it's gonna add it to the bowl. Now I've got half of a red onion here. I'm only gonna chop me about a little wedge out of it like this, because we only need a couple tablespoons of diced red onions. And like I said, it only called for a couple tablespoons, but that looks pretty good to me. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna slide this into the bowl with our corn. Now what I've got is I got a, a small little bundle here of cilantro. So we're just gonna chop this up. And again, it only called for two tablespoons as well of this, but I'm a firm believer, there's no such thing as too much cilantro, right? Just like we did with the onion, I'm gonna slide this down here into our bowl with our corn. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take a tablespoon and I'm gonna add a tablespoon worth of tahini seasoning in here. Then we're gonna sprinkle that all, mix that in throughout our bowl of our corn. Next, we're gonna add a tablespoon and a half of Katija cheese, I believe I pronounced that right. I may not be. If not, please let me know. But we're gonna add a tablespoon and a half of this cheese. Oh, that's really messy. But tablespoon and a half. All right, next, we're gonna add a tablespoon and a half of mayonnaise. All right, so now we've got all of these ingredients in here. I'm just gonna take my little utensil here. I just wanna stir all this around. Kind of get that mayonnaise mixed in. Now I'm gonna put this in the fridge and let it rest in the fridge. But before we get our steaks going, now I'm gonna make the elote sauce. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that same, we're gonna take that mayonnaise, we're gonna add, this time we're gonna add two tablespoons, two and a half tablespoons into this bowl. Next, we're gonna drop a tablespoon. And if I said teaspoon earlier for the mayonnaise, I apologize, it's tablespoons tablespoon of mayo and then we're going to come back with one and a half tablespoons of sour cream next we're going to come in with one tablespoon of your favorite hot sauce i'm sticking with my tahini uh, not tahini i'm sorry tapatio next thing i've got one lime that i've cut in half and i'm going to squeeze as much juice out of that lime as i could possibly get now what we're going to do we're just going to combine all of these ingredients now that we got this well combined, we're gonna, just like we did with the corn, we're just gonna put this in the fridge. 
For our steaks, so we're gonna be firing up the Weber gas grill. So we're gonna go ahead and raise the lid. Now, the temp I wanna go for for this is about 425. All right, so we're right at about that 425 mark and it's climbing, which is good because when we raise the lid, we're gonna lose some heat. So we're gonna go ahead, raise the lid and get these steaks here on the grill as quickly as I can. Now, because they're small steaks, they're not very big. We're only gonna go about three minutes per side. All right, we just got these beautiful little steaks in the house. We're gonna give them about 10 minutes, let them rest. All right, folks, so normally when I use these cut steaks, I've already cut them down into the bite-sized pieces, right? So what I'm gonna do now, got some good, good coloring on this steak. And I was really worried that they were gonna try to fall apart because they'd been in that marinade so long. But what I'm doing now is I'm just gonna cut these down into bite-sized pieces. All right, now I just heated my tortilla up in the microwave. If you want to, you could have heated it up on the in a skillet. But I'm gonna sprinkle me some Kobe Jack cheese here in the middle. Next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take and I'm gonna add me some of this corn right along the top, kind of in the middle there, about like that. Next, we're gonna sprinkle some of the steak in on the top of here. Now that we got our steak on there, I'm gonna come back with some of that sauce that we made. Kind of drizzle all that right along the top. Ooh -wee. All right, this is a dang good looking steak elote taco. So, let's go and give it that all important taste test. <laughs> That's a 10. 10 out of 10. So many flavors. That, uh, that sauce we made, the corn, the steak, put that in the taco form, and I mean, that's dang good. Uh, and really, pretty quick, we marinated the steaks. Should have only been for 24 hours, but we went two whole days. Steak was still great. I mean, pretty quick meal, and you get to use the grill on a weeknight, so, What's wrong with that, huh? And this could even be made better. Like I said, you had the option there of uh, grilling your corn or heating your tortilla with the cheese on it, uh, on a black stone or in a skillet. So many more options with this, but so dang good, folks. Y'all, please give this one a try. If y'all don't try any other one of my recipes, try this one. Y'all, please like, subscribe, and we'll see y'all later.